This presentation discusses appeals to boards of review. So we're going to be telling you how appeals work, when and how appeals are made, and how the appeal process is administered. So here we go. Where? Uh, to the next slide. So which board of review decisions can be appealed? So let's say that a candidate for Star, Life, or Eagle has been rejected at a board of review. He can then initiate an appeal. Can any of the lower ranks or Eagle Palms be appealed? No. The decision of boards of review for lower ranks and Eagle Palms are final. So who starts the appeal process? Only the scout or his parent or guardian may initiate an appeal to a board of review's decision. Okay. So what you're telling me is that if a scout appears for a star, life, or eagle board of review and is denied, either he or his parent or guardian can initiate an appeal. That's correct. Okay. And who oversees the appeals process? If a board of review at the unit level does not recommend a candidate for rank advancement, the scout or his parent may appeal the decision to the district advancement committee, and a district decision can then be appealed to the council level. A council level appeal board or decision can be appealed to the national advancement team. So is an appeal board another board of review? No, an appeal board is not another board of review. What will be discussed are the reasons for the denial at the original board of review. A decision at any level of appeal in favor of the scout is final. Well, so nobody else from the unit can appeal a decision. It has to be the scout or his parents. That's right. If a decision is made in his favor at any level, it's final. The appeal board at the district or council level is made up of three to five volunteers with a thorough knowledge of advancement and appeals procedures. Before they convene, the members of this board are going to gather statements or telephone interviews or summaries that they need to make a decision. They're going to contact whoever they choose. It may be a unit leader or one of the assistants, parents or guardians, uh, unit committee members, and as applicable, a representative of the chartered organization or the Eagle Service Project beneficiary. Every effort is going to be made to have balanced representation at the appeal. Once they've gathered all their information, the appeal board is going to convene and deliberate and make a decision. Now, no other guests, including the candidate's parents or guardians, are allowed at the appeal board. The board may interview the scout if they choose. Once they've arrived at a decision, a written report setting out the details of the appeal and the reasons for the decision is going to be forwarded to the council scout executive, and a copy will be sent to the scout who brought the appeal. If an appeal rises to the level of the national advancement team, it will be processed through the local council. We have lots of other presentations on boards of review, Eagle boards of review, boards of review under disputed circumstances. And we also have a presentation on the Eagle Scout project. And what about the one on the Eagle application? Oh, we have a presentation on that too. If you have any other questions about appeals to boards of review, consult the guide to advancement. You can also talk to your district and council advancement coordinators. Yeah, it's important to start with them. If you're still stumped, however, you can email the National Advancement Team at advancement.team at scouting.org. So until next time, I'm Lisa. And I'm Clark. And... Uh, tune in again. Tune in to what? You know, I'm not too sure, actually. I'm not surprised. <laughs> All right, thanks again. Bye.